you and I run a course called Make It Happen and can prove that you can make it happen now. Remember, the whole creation is the manifestation of your mind. For some people, their belief is that you have to do very hard work to manifest a result. And they will have to work hard and they will do it. Right? It's how we orient our mind. It is not just wishful thinking that most people think that you know, I'll just think and it'll just manifest or something is just going to crystallize uh, you know, like you know suddenly I'll wave my hand and you know some you know gold watch will come out of it not that kind of manifestation in life whatever we achieve whatever we experience is through our mind keep your mind positive and a mind full of conviction can make anything happen. See, we see this in great masters. I won't say just spiritual masters, but those who have even grown spiritually in any field, which means through dedication, they are completely committed to their goal. These people make it happen. So, it all depends on, again, the mastery of our mind. See, every action, you know, or let's say every work, will require a certain amount of effort. And that effort depends on our mental condition, whether you have the knowledge, you have the skills. You know, and most important is, right, the equipoise of your mind so that your actions are done efficiently. Now, most people understand efficiency as, uh, uh, you know, less work, great results. But that's not efficiency. Efficiency is less work, hard work, more work. But to bring out the most or manifest the most magnificent result which comes from the equipoise of your mind when you do your work that's when your skills your talents manifest you know, in the right manner to bring out the right result manifestation means it comes from efficiency and efficiency comes from equipoise of mind Therefore, in Bhagavad Gita, there are two amazing statements defining yoga. I won't say yoga. <laughs> it is yoga. And most people understand yoga today, which is one of the practices of asanas and pranayama, physical postures as well as breathing, etc., which are all helpful, again, as we spoke earlier also, to calm the mind to concentrate the mind. But yoga as defined by Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita gives two defi definitions. One he says, Samatvam Yoga Ujjate Equipoise of mind in every situation, especially in what you want to manifest. If you get anxious, you get stressed out, you, you know, you're just being very wishful, as Swami Chinmayananda says, you know, plan out your work, but work out your plan. 